here's what we got. We're gonna dis uh, we're gonna extract some DNA from wheat germ. This here is wheat germ purchased today, nice and fresh. Right. So first, what we want to do is we got some water. We've got about 100 milliliters. We're gonna add some wheat germ to it. About half a tablespoon. That goes in there. We mix it up a bit. Awesome. Next, you want to add some dish soap. Okay. One squirt. It's about fine. Now what that's going to do is the detergent is actually going to break up the cell membrane. Once the cell membrane is broken up, all this DNA is free to move around out of the cell. Okay, we're going to mix that up a bit. Awesome. Okay, now what we're going to add is we're going to add a little bit of meat tenderizer. We're going to add about that much. Maybe a little bit more. Right? And what this does is this is actually going to break up the proteins that bind the DNA together. What we also need to add is a little bit of baking soda. This is going to bring the pH up to 8, which is going to allow everything to move around more freely. And it's also going to act as a buffer for us. So I can mix this for uh, maybe a minute or so. So you need to be patient. Now then, instead of mixing that, what we're going to do is we already have one. It's already done. It's all settled. Nice and easy. So what we want to do is we're going to take the top layer of this because all the wheat germ is settled. All the DNA is going to be free in the top layer. And we're going to put a little bit in this test tube. Okay. We're going to put a few squirts. There we go. Okay. What we also want to do is put a little bit of alcohol. I'm going to do this the way you shouldn't do it. Okay. Now then, DNA is insoluble in alcohol. Therefore, it's going to separate into another layer. And if you want to actually just zoom in on that, you're going to see all the bubbles form. Okay. This needs to settle for a couple of minutes. I'm not sure if I could get any of it yet. Oh yeah, there's a layer there. I can just go around in here. Try to scoop that up. Okay. Sometimes they use glass rods. Today we're just going to use a piece of wood. You're going to notice that I actually got a nice little wad of DNA at the end of this stick here. And that, my friends, is how you extract wheat germ DNA. Thank you.